Hello and welcome to another Prolani video. So today what I would like to discuss are privacy oriented search engines. Now a few things to clear up in the beginning. The first one of is uh, the fact that you would be hard pressed to find a search engine which will give you more relevant results than Google will. Google simply has um, the best algorithms and it's going to give you by far the most accurate uh, search results. But if you're willing to sacrifice that for, um, for more security and privacy, then uh, these two I would definitely recommend. So on the left we have DuckDuckGo and on the right we have uh, StartPage. So StartPage actually uses Google results. Uh, it just does not uh, uh, personalize them uh, based upon uh, your previous uh, search results. And in general, StarPage is more secure than DuckDuckGo. Uh, but today I'm going to be focusing solely on uh, usability because there is a few different, uh, a few important differences between the two. Um, okay, so start. Let, let's just type something in uh, into uh, DuckDuckGo. Let's we'll just type Logitech and see what we come up with. And on StarPage, let's do the same. Let's see what we get. Okay, so like I said, on the left we have DuckDuckGo, on the right we have StartPage. Um, now, the first thing that you'll notice, uh, and which is very important to me as well, uh, is the fact that large, uh, the fact that DuckDuckGo uh, shows the site fav icons. So the site fav icons are the little logos that you see when you type something in your uh, URL bar. So let's say on Twitter, uh, I can just type, uh, uh, as you can see, uh, it says twitter.com slash Logitech. And on the left, uh, left of that, there is a small little fab icon, the blue bird. Uh, so what, uh, what is the reason that is important? Uh, when I search a result on DuckDuckGo, uh, and let's say I'm looking for Twitter, uh, I can immediately find it on the page uh, just by looking at the fav icons. Um, also Facebook, there is a Facebook result, so immediately I see that just by looking at the fav icon. It's much more, uh, it's much fast, faster for me than to look at every single individual uh, link on the page. Now StartPage does not provide that, um, they do not have show site fav icons, but then again, uh, remember these are uh, Google results. So Google also, as far as I'm aware, does not uh, show uh, fav icons. Um, so that would be the first thing that differentiates the the two. Um, the second thing, uh, the second important thing, uh, usability wise, is the infinite scroll. So when I search something on DuckDuckGo. Um, Let's say I, I'm, I, I'm not finding my results, which I wanted. So I need to scroll down or move the page down. And as you can see, it auto loads the next pages. So that is very nice. Uh, I can just press a key on my keyboard and uh, it will just infinitely scroll down as long as there are search results. Now on star page, that is not the case. Because again, these are Google results. So just like on Google, uh, I go down and I'm at the bottom of the page. I need to press um, the next page to load. And then I can load the next set of results and so on and so forth. So um, yeah, I much more prefer the DuckDuckGo version uh, than uh, the Google slash start page one. Um, now the third thing that uh, you will notice right off the bat is the fact that there are uh, DuckDuckGo shows links beneath the text that describes the web page. So uh, as we can see, uh, the first result secure.logitech.com. Uh, There we go. Um, yeah, this uh, link is beneath the text, right? Now, 
on star page that is not the case as you see um, the link is actually uh, in between the <coughs> uh, uh, name of the page and the short description so I, I, do, I definitely do not like that uh, I don't think there's an option to change that uh, at least I, I did not find one but I much more prefer the fact that you have the link and the fab icon beneath um, the page name and the description. Um, so that would be the third thing that differentiates uh, DuckDuckGo and Star Page. Now the fourth thing that I would like to mention is the fact that let's just go over to the um, image results and okay as we can see we have a whole bunch of pictures um, now on let's say i want a logitech wallpaper right so i have a 1080p screen 1920 by 1080 so i need that exact same resolution uh, for my wallpaper so i need to go to all sizes and check that out. We have small, medium, large, and extra large. I cannot specify the exact image size. Now on star page, I can actually can. Now I need to do an additional step. I need to press tools and then I can select any size exactly. And I can press, and I can type in a uh, 1920 by 1080 and I will get 1920 by 1080 results so for me this is uh, a big advantage in terms of image search for star page um, con compared to DuckDuckGo um, especially if you do intensive image searches uh, much better to have uh, that option than to not have it. now the last thing that I'll mention regarding this is the fact that watch what happens when I press uh, web the page reloads itself right when I press images the same thing happens now on DuckDuckGo that is not the case right much faster uh, again DuckDuckGo a bit faster than start page a little bit less secure um, but both of these are excellent uh, privacy-oriented search engines. Now, the, uh, the last thing that I'll mention are the settings for both of these. Uh, so for, <clears throat> for DuckDuckGo, let me just go to the settings page. DuckDuckGo.com, okay. Uh, so in terms of uh, the DuckDuckGo settings, the important ones that you need to focus on are under privacy. You have HTTPS uh, using encrypted version of the site that should be on, and get requests should be off. You should use POS instead. Um, now, if you want to my settings for DuckDuckGo, you can just go. Uh, as you can see on the right side, it says a cloud save enabled, and you can. Um, you can just type uh, ducky space setup and it will you will get my uh, my settings for uh, for DuckDuckGo. Now on uh, <clears throat> on star page um, star page has a little bit less uh, uh, or a little bit less um, settings. compared to DuckDuckGo, but of the important ones, of course, again, use post instead of get. Um, and I guess when playing videos, stay on star page out of the more important ones, but less results than, uh, less settings than, uh, star, uh, than DuckDuckGo, definitely. So, yeah. These would be some of the basic differences between DuckDuckGo and StarPage. Also, regarding StarPage, you can use um, their classic site. 
if you prefer that look. So you can go to classic.startpage.com and you will get the classic uh, start page, the old school start page. So when you click that, as you can see, it's just the old school results, much more uh, uh, packed. Uh, some people like this, some people do not. Um, and the names are underlined. So yeah, it depends on what you like. Okay, so these would be some of the differences between DuckDuckGo and Sarpage. <clears throat> Again, uh, both of these are really good privacy-oriented ori search engines. Um, DuckDuckGo, in my experience, a bit faster uh, and a bit less secure than uh, StartPage. StartPage does take it uh, just, just a notch above that in terms of uh, privacy. Okay, so that should be it. Um, if you have any questions, leave it in the comments. Uh, and I'll see you next time.